Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and today for you guys, I have some Kingdom Hearts 2.8 news and information. Today we're going to be looking at two brand new screenshots for Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. So, these new screenshots come directly from Famitsu due to the fact that Famitsu on November 17th will be releasing their next issue and in that issue is going to contain Kingdom Hearts 2.8 with 0.2 Birth by Sleep as the main spotlight within that issue. Now the good thing about Famitsu's is we generally always get some new information, some new news and sometimes we'll get the odd interview which is always very exciting. So I'd say it's very likely that with this next issue of Famitsu we'll get some further information towards 0.2 birth by sleep. However though, let's look at the first screenshot right here. So this is Aqua, as you guys can see, it looks like she's sort of seen something. I don't know, she looks surprised, a little bit startled, and it looks to be that she's standing in some sort of like forest or something. Now the only reason why I'm saying that is behind her we can see some sort of dead trees. It's kind of hard to make out exactly what these different things in the environment exactly are, but to me personally those look like dead trees. Now I'd say it's probably likely that she is in the dwarf woodlands, either that or possibly maybe the Enchanted Dominion, perhaps getting close to Maleficent's castle or something along the lines of that. Otherwise I can't really take too much from the screenshot. It looks like Aqua has has maybe come across something and it surprised her or she's worried but of course we'll find out more when we play the game for ourselves. The next screenshot right here is King Mickey. Now actually we've seen something like this extremely similar in the past before. If you guys go back to the Jump Festa Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer we actually saw this exact scene of Mickey. Now if we actually pull up that scene right there from the Jump Festa trailer and look at Mickey Mouse in that trailer and now look at Mickey Mouse in this screenshot, you guys will notice that Square Enix have really, really, really polished up the character models, and this was certainly apparent from seeing, of course, uh, Terra in the E3 2016 demo, and then, of course, seeing Terra in the TGS 2016 demo. It's very, very apparent that Square Enix are still to this day fine tuning and polishing up the character models, and I think that's absolutely fantastic because going back to all of the trailers that we're seeing for 2.8, I would say before the TGS trailer, um, a lot of people were complaining about how the character models look very sort of play doughy and plasticky. And even though these character models within the next generation of Kingdom Hearts kind of have that feeling, they're looking a lot better. And just from looking at Mickey Mouse here and comparing him to what he was looking like in the Jump Festa trailer, it's very clear that Square Enix are still hard at work. The one thing I instantly noticed was the change with Mickey's eyes. I think he looks a lot better in the updated screenshot than he does in the Jump Festa trailer. His eyes look a little bit more glossy and stuff, and to say the least, more cartoony, so I think that's a really, really good thing. However guys, that's all for today. Of course, as soon as the Famitsu information comes out with translations, we will be covering it here on the channel, so fingers crossed for some juicy news. However guys, hope that you're having a fantastic day, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.